So then now we've planned for next week. Um, that's Thursday. And so on Monday, 30 minutes before the meeting um, or an hour before the meeting, whatever, whatever it is, we um, plan what this sprint is going to look like. So we plan our whole week. And so what we do again is go through and pull in different tickets and look at the, we go through our projects again and make sure that every single client is addressed. We have some in setup phase uh, because of the work that we do. So some clients are, are setting up their campaigns. Other ones are um, kind of in the works. Maintenance means that this is like uh, the monthly thing that we do for the client. So we're looking at all of these projects. We've also prioritized the project so that we know that some are more urgent, more timely than others, or maybe it's a smaller customer that we only work on quarterly or every once in a while. We actually don't have to go through all their stuff all the time. So that's how we prioritize that. And by the end, we look at what our uh, sprint looks like. So here's a kind of like a time clock. So it says that our tax and operations are adding up to 38 hours. And then this is where we gauge. So sometimes we'll put everything we think we can, uh, that we want to accomplish. And then it goes like way over 70. So then we start taking things out, reprioritizing. So that's how we make sure that what we, what we say we're going to do in a week, we can do in a week. The other thing that's really important, it's been super helpful for us is our team view. So this is what everybody on the team is doing. And then now we can see, okay, well, hey, Sarah's only got one hour and she usually has 10. So we got to give Sarah more work. So even though we've got, we maxed out at 70, the work distribution might not be um, good. So now with the team view, we can see what's happening. So again, um, if there's a way for you to sort in whatever software you're using, or again, in Excel, you might set up like a million fields and like sort through them um, and just find a way to be able to delegate to the team and see what they're doing. And as you can see, you'd be able to see in this view um, whether Sarah's working on her stuff. You don't have to keep calling her and asking her. And the other way that we can uh, find out what a team member is doing is by looking at their ticket. So I've got this little ticket tab. And so I can look at Sarah's tickets and say, oh, you know what, she's she's got this on her plate or, or she doesn't or, you know, so you're, you're not worried about um, is Sarah doing like, did I tell this to Sarah? Is she doing all this stuff? I don't have to interrupt her work day or her work week to find out what she's up to. So that's kind of like the, the overall of how we plan um, our sprints and we are like we so want to help the community so if you have any questions we're spark the spark and spark team is here to answer so just to give you a, some background on our team we have two graphic designers an editor we have a social media person an ads person a project manager um and um, a software developer so we're a pretty diverse team and our team is ready to answer any questions people might have so we can support you in in creating these virtual teams so um, I will make another video on how we do the specific tickets because actually the, the way that we run our tickets so let's say this is a ticket here is actually really critical to the process it's, uh, writing out everything uh, that needs to happen and when the ticket is done and we have a, a wonderful team member Carl who was always saying what's the definition of done so um, so that's um, how we run this part of the process and I hope it was helpful for you. Thank you.